Now, another person, another person is, you have seen three muscles, this is gracilis, another person is adductor brevis, that is adductor Adductor brevis. This adductor brevis takes origin from lower part of this lower part of the body of the pubis and ischiopubic ramus from here and inserted on the linea aspera and a line from here lesser trochanter. Two linea aspera, so it lies here on the upper part of the linea aspera, it is inserted over here. This is adductor brevis. Action of this adductor brevis is Again, its action is adduction, lateral rotation, and flexion. Nerve supply, it has dual nerve supply. It is supplied by either anterior division of obturator nerve or posterior division of the obturator nerve. Same nerve, not dual, it is same nerve, but its division is different. It may be supplied by anterior division. Or it may be supplied with posterior division of the obturator nerve. And the muscle that is adductor magnus, that is adductor magnus. This adductor magnus has two parts, adductor part and hamstring part. Hamstring part, that part which lies in the posterior compartment. So it has adductor part and hamstring part. Hamstring part takes origin from ischial tuberosity, inferior lateral part of the ischial tuberosity from here and inserted on the adductor tubercle. So this part this is hamstring part. This is hamstring part. And the part it takes origin from here is tubic ramus. It inserted on and posterior side there is gluteal tuberosity. This is gluteal tuberosity present on posterior side. So it is inserted on the medial border of this gluteal tuberosity, linea aspera, and here supra medial supracondylar ridge, and extend up to the adductor tubercle. So this portion. This portion is adductor portion. Here is a tenderous gap. This is a tenderous gap present in this muscle. This is known as hiatus magnus. This is known as hiatus magnus. Through which fibular artery passes, fibular artery from anterior compartment piercing this or passes through this and become popliteal artery. 